Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Pixel Watch Notification Fix. Let's start by looking at how notifications usually work on this Pixel Watch 3. I've got an app on my phone to send a test notification. And let's do that now. And we can see that the notification doesn't wake the screen on the watch. And personally, I find that quite annoying. So we're going to install Pixel Watch Notification Fix. And to do that, we're going to use Freepok Downloader. But let me first connect my watch to a charger. Screen Lock Helper just helping me unlock the watch there. And Freepok Downloader is here. Pixel Watch Notification Fix. And it's got the app from Freepark. And let's install it. Installation successful. Now let's open the app on the watch. There it is. And this app needs accessibility permission. So it takes us to that menu. Enable. Yes, I'm sure. And we can set the number of seconds for the notifications to stay on screen. Let's say 15 and done. Now I'm going to put the watch back on my wrist and we'll try another notification and see what happens. Let me unlock the watch again. Okay, and just off camera, I'll open my notification test app. I'll just wait till the watch face comes back. And you can see that the notification appeared, but it disappeared again when I turned my wrist. Now, the technical term for that is ungaze. Now you might be okay with ungaze, but if like me you find it frustrating, it's possible to change that behavior using ADB commands. And we can easily do that using Wear Installer 2. So let me put my watch back on the charger. And bring my phone back in. And here's Wear Installer 2. Now, if you haven't used Wear Installer before, there's some instructions here about how everything works, but we'll step through it pretty, pretty quickly. First, we're going to do some setup on the watch. So go to developer options. If you don't have developer options on your watch, just Google how to do them. Uh, and I've connected my watch to a charger, as I said before and enable stir weight when charging. Turned on ADB debugging and turn on wireless debugging. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure that the IP address of the watch is on Wear Installer 2's home screen. And you can see it's 192.168.1.222. Now we're going to pair a new device and from where in store to pair with watch. And again, if you haven't done this, there's some explanation about how everything works, but we'll tap enable and it's asking for the pairing code and the pairing port. So the pairing code is 962144 and then a space and then the pairing port 
three, seven, four, one, five. Attempting to pair, successfully paired. Now, finally, we need to enter the port number shown on the watch in this space here. This is different from the port that we used for pairing a moment ago. So 41985. Done. And now we're going to change the ungaze mode on the watch. So menu, manage ungaze mode. And again, there's some explanation here, but we're going to disable ungaze mode. Send the command, finish. And we can now turn off wireless debugging, turn off ADB debugging, and we don't need stay with and charging anymore. And once again, I'm going to put my watch on my wrist because otherwise it won't work when the notification comes through. So now let's go back to my notification test app and try again. So send the notification. And that this time when I turn my wrist, the notification remains on the screen for me to read. So these are the watch settings that I prefer to use. And if you want to do the same, just follow the steps in this video. I've demonstrated on a Pixel watch, but you might be able to do the same on other Wear OS watches as well. Pixel Watch Notification Fix, Wear Installer 2, and all my other free apps are available from my Freepop website, and I've included a link in the notes to this video. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.